China, the world's largest exporter, has expressed profound worry over tensions in the Red Sea, which have disrupted global trade by causing many merchants to avoid the Suez Canal. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to tell you China T Turkey shut down all trade with the US UK with sanctions in support of Houthi rebels. Globes investigates why Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan has taken this measure and how it may affect trade between the two countries. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. China has been in close touch with all parties concerned and making positive measures to de-escalate the situation in which Iran-backed Houthi rebels have launched missile attacks on multinational ships, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin said in a daily briefing on Wednesday. China calls for an end to the harassment and attacks on civilian ships and urges all relevant parties to avoid fanning the flames in the area and work together to guarantee the safety and security of the Red Sea route, Wang said. Since November, the Iranian Baktooth, this have launched at least 34 attacks on vessels in the waterways, leading up to Egypt's Suez Canal, a critical route for petroleum and cargo from Asia and the Middle East to Europe. Us and UK target Yemen's Houth, this in a second round, retaliating for attacks by Iran-backed Last year, Shell's profits fell from a historic high as oil and natural gas prices fell. Attacks on ships in the Red Sea are affecting international trade. Here's how it may change what you buy. The Houthis, a Shiite rebel group that has controlled Yemen's capital Sana'a since 2014 and has been at odds with a Saudi-led coalition supporting Yemen's exiled government since 2015, blame their strikes on the Israel-Hamas conflict. However, the ships they've targeted have increasingly thin ties to Israel, or none at all. We are quite concerned about the current escalation in the Red Sea issue. The Red Sea is a vital international trading route for goods and energy, Wang explained. Wang also mentioned the Gaza conflict and linked it to the Red Sea tensions, stating, the aim today is to terminate the fighting in Gaza as quickly as possible to avoid further escalation and keep the situation from spiraling out of hand. China is eager to work with all parties to defuse the situation and safeguard security and stability in the Red Sea. Wang's China exported more over $3.5 trillion of products in 2022, the most recent year for which data was available. That was around $1.05 trillion, more than the United States, the world's second largest exporter. The Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen have intensified their attacks on the Red Sea. In 2014, Houthi rebels rushed down from their northern base in Yemen and seized the city, Sana'a, sparking a long-running conflict. They have occasionally targeted ships in the region over time but the attacks have risen since the beginning of Israel's war with Hamas. Some of the world's top container shipping corporations, as well as the oil giant BP, have been sending ships on lengthier routes around Africa that skirt the Red Sea. In response to the growing impact on global trade, the United States and several other countries have formed a new force to safeguard ships. According to Drury, a maritime research company, at least 90 of container ships that formerly transited the Suez Canal are now rerouting across Africa and the Cape of Good Hope. The cost of shipping a normal 40-foot container from China to Northern Europe has risen from $1,500 to $4,000, according to the Kiel Institute for the World Economy in Germany. However, this is still far lower than the $14,000 saw during the pandemic. The delays contributed to a 1.3% decrease in global trade in December, as commodities remained on ships rather than being unloaded at port. The United States and its allies have struck sites that Washington claims are involved in attacks against us soldiers in Iraq and Syria, as well as threats to us military and commercial vessels in the Red Sea. China has maintained close links with Iran, primarily through investment and oil imports, and last year hosted discussions that resulted in the restoration of diplomatic relations between Tehran and Saudi Arabia. While attempting to play a peacemaking role in the Middle East, Beijing has avoided committing to any single side, undermining its credibility in the eyes of skeptics. 
Wang stated that China believes the UN Security Council has never authorized any country to use force against Yemen and urges for real respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Red Sea coastal countries, including Yemen. Turkey removes Israel from export target list. Since the commencement of the Gaza war, Turkey has taken diplomatic steps against Israel, including supporting complaints filed in the International Court of Justice in The Hague. However, this week Turkey took a step forward by removing Israel from its list of export target countries. This current step comes despite the fact that Israel was Turkey's 13th largest export market. In 2023, accounting for $5.42 billion in products sold. The decision comes after years of ups and downs in diplomatic ties, but Turkey has placed no economic restrictions. Why did Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan take this decision, and how will it affect trade between the two countries? Turkey's decision to remove Israel from the list of export target nations means that its inhabitants will no longer be encouraged to subsidize trade or support enterprises that work with Israel. The ruling also sends a message to Turkish enterprises that if they trade with Israel, the government will not assist them. Another significant development is that the Turkish Ministry of Trade would withdraw sponsorship for joint conferences with Israel. This decision undermines the Turkish trade attach in Israel's ability to promote bilateral relations. Were there any additional revisions to Turkey's list? Yes, at the same time as the action against Israel, Turkey withdrew Iraq, Sudan, Mozambique, and Congo from the list. The decision to exclude Iraq, Turkey's third largest export market, is believed to be motivated by tensions with Baghdad over military operations against Kurds in northern Iraq. In Sudan, Erdogan intends to undermine the government there. Turkey has recently expanded its export target list to include Algeria, a strong friend of Hamas. What prompted Erdogan to take this step? Erdogan, according to the Turkish constitution, is in his final term of office and is considering the political situation following the Gaza conflict. If prior to the Israel-Hamas war, he attempted to advance his political power by collaborating with Israel and transforming Turkey into a major player in natural gas transportation, he now understands that his voter base and supporters of political Islam, in general in his country, will perceive the collapse of Hamas rule in Gaza as the president's failure. As a result, Erdogan is attempting in every way to persuade Israel to end the war or at the very least, to be viewed as the one who did everything possible to accomplish this. What is the volume of trade between Israel and Turkey? As stated in 2023, Turkey sold items worth $5.42 billion to increase from $7 billion in 2022. According to Israel's Central Bureau of Statistics, Israel sold items worth $1.05 billion to Turkey in 2023, a decrease from $2.05 billion in 2022. Turkey was one of seven nations that suffered a significant drop in Israeli exports in 2023, along with Malaysia, Albania, Taiwan, France, the United Kingdom, and Canada. What does Israel import from Turkey? More over half of Israel's exports from Turkey are in the quarrying machinery and metal sectors, mostly for use in Israeli construction. Food represents eight of Turkey's exports to Israel. What alternative markets does Israel have? And will the measures become more stringent? Elad Barshan, founder and CEO of Slickchain Digital Supply Chain Platform and an expert in international supply, told Globes that anything has an alternative. The issue is price and availability. He adds Israel's options are to trade with East Asia, which has far longer supply times, or with Europe, where items are much more expensive than in Turkey. According to Barshan, without the line from Turkey, the shipment may take 60 days from East Asia. If we migrate to Europe, the concern will be the high prices. In his assessment of the potential of Erdogan stepping up his measures, he states, the chiefs of Turkish industry will not allow Erdogan to intervene. There is a dreadful economic situation with extraordinarily high interest rates. Turkey requires foreign currency, and I don't see any alternative to removing the assistance. Will the ruling affect the Turkish economy? The answer is probably no. 
Turkey's exports in 2023 surpassed previous records, reaching $255.08 billion, up 0.6% from 2022. The trade deficit was significant at $106 billion, but Ankara is used to this reality because it lacks energy and power. Have Turkish ships continued to call at Israeli ports throughout the war? Despite Erdogan's anti-Israel stance, official numbers from Turkey's Ministry of Transport reveal that 701 Turkish ships have sailed to Israel since October 7, with an average of eight ships each day. Only 480 of these ships went between Turkey and Israel with 221 reaching Israel via Turkey. Who can replace Israel as Turkey's export market? In 2023, Turkey's exports to the UAA increased by $2.07 billion to $5.92 billion, accounting for 3.4% of total Turkish exports. Russia experienced the second largest increase in exports, rising $1.78 billion, $0.42 billion last year. The third largest increase in Turkish exports last year was to Saudi Arabia, which saw shipments rise $949 million to $2.27 billion. Was the writing on the wall? It has undoubtedly been a continuous process, as seen by the arrest of soccer star Sajiv Jeheskel and the activities of Turkey's Ministry of Trade. About three weeks ago, for example, the ministry issued a statement claiming that commerce is not done with Israeli Jews. Trade with Israel is conducted for the benefit of 2.2 million Israeli residents of Arab heritage and those living under Israeli occupation. In what export areas do Israel and Turkey compete? Israel and Turkey compete in the defense business. Israel's defense exports set a new peak in 2022 with contracts totaling $12.05 billion. Elbit Systems climbed to 21st position on Military News, ranking of the world's 100 largest defense corporations, while Israel Aerospace Industry and Rafael also advanced. Turkey also broke its defense export record last year, with contracts totaling $4.04 billion. Turkey had four companies in the defense news rankings. That's all for today's video. Turkey considers itself the regional hub in all areas. Therefore, it was incensed last September when US President Joe Biden proposed a logistics corridor connecting Greece and India via Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE, skipping Turkey. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.